This day has been 20 years in the making. The official opening of Delta's new Boston hub, finally. There's not many communities in the U.S. that have an airport that, that's as nice as, as Terminal A here at, uh, at Logan. Delta CEO a bit biased considering the airline built Terminal A with Massport. Delta just didn't get to move in because it went bankrupt in 2005. Strong profits in Boston now, a doubling in size over the past three years, has the airline refocused on Logan. This hub status will mean more flights in the U.S. and to locations around the world. To Edinburgh, Lisbon, we've launched Amsterdam with KLM. We've launched more flights to London with, uh, with Virgin. We'll be launching Gatwick next week, I believe. This happy couple is already taking advantage. It's uh, definitely great for us because we're heading to Scotland for our honeymoon. And uh, <laughs> it was a great opportunity to see Delta on the list of uh, flights to go on. The obvious question is, can the infrastructure at our aging, already congested airport handle more travelers? There is a $2 billion plan for that. Logan Forward is our plan to build a better airport, and that includes modernizing our facilities, improving our roadways. Delta plans to offer 200 flights a day by the fall of 2021, hitting the 200 mark, a goal of competitor JetBlue as well. Certainly this is an airport that that's, has room for two big carriers in it, and we're, we're happy to compete. Delta also happy to announce they'll soon be flying to Rome and adding another flight to Paris. Travelers do need to be patient with Logan Forward, though that improvement plan is not set to be complete until 2023. In the meantime, Massport says they'll be doing their best to make customers aware of changes due to construction.